Have you ever wondered what is zero factorial? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about the value of zero factorial. If you wish to calculate n factorial, it's equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. And then this pattern will continue all the way to 1. So for instance, if we wish to calculate 5 factorial, that's going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. Now, if we wish to calculate 4 factorial, we're going to start from 4 and multiply all the whole numbers down to 1. So 4 times 3, which is 12, times 2 is 24. 3 factorial, if we keep the pattern, it's going to be 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 2 factorial is going to be 2 times 1, which is 2. And 1 factorial, that's just 1 times 1, which is 1. Now, what about 0 factorial? Well, notice the pattern. To go from 120 to 24, we simply need to divide by 5. 120 divided by 5 is 24. Now, to go from 24 to 6, we need to divide by 4. To go from 6 to 2, we need to divide by 3. To go from 2 to 1, we need to divide by 2. So to go from 1 to the next answer, based on this pattern that we see here, what do we need to do next? Well, in this case, we need to divide by 1. So 1 divided by 1 is 1, which means that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So that's a quick and simple way to understand why 0 factorial is equal to 1. There are other reasons and methods that you could use to help illustrate this point, but we'll stick with this one. Here's another question that is completely different from the other one. What is 0 raised to the 0 power? What is that equal to? For instance, we know that 4 raised to the 0 power is 1. And 0, let's say, raised to the, fi the fifth power is 0. But what is 0 to the 0 power? Feel free to pause that video and tell me what you think is the answer. You can post a comment in the, in the comment section below. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in some values. So let's make a table. So let's say this is our input value and our output value. Let's try 0.1 raised to the 0.1. Let's see what number we get. 0.1 raised to the 0.1 is 0.79433. Now let's get let's use a smaller value, 0 0.01 raised to the 0 0.01 power. This is equal to 0.95499. And then if we get even smaller, 0 0.001 raised to the point zero zero one. This is going to be point nine nine three one one six. So notice what's happening here. Now let's use scientific notation to make this easier. Let's try one times ten to the minus four, which is point zero 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 one. So we're going to try this number raised to the one times ten to the minus four. And so that's going to be 0 0.999079. Now let's try a very, very small number. Let's say 1 times 10 to the minus 9. Maybe that's too small. Let's say negative 7 raised to the 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So this is 0 0.999998. So as you can see, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side, let's put a positive side, uh, I mean a positive sign rather, of x raised to the x, this is equal to 1. So 0 to the 0 power is basically 1 
if you're using positive values above zero. Using negative values, that's a whole nother story. But I'm going to stop the video here. So that's it for this video. For those of you who want more content on like math stuff and other interesting topics, check out the links in the description section below. And thanks again for watching.